Hello everyone, Adriana here at AW Advanced Aesthetic Training. I am very excited to present our webinar of the month. I look forward to it all month. We're gonna be talking about hands and neck. Very important to parts that are usually neglected and are aging quicker these days. So we're gonna dive into some protocols, procedures, products that you can use. We're gonna have Elise, she's my support team. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You also have my email address adriana at awstatictraining.com. If you want to connect with me or have some questions, feel free to email me this afternoon. I'll be happy to reply and connect with each one of you. Thank you so much for your time and let's go and dive in into our PowerPoint presentation. Okay, let's start with the webinar, Mastering the Art of Hands and Neck Rejuvenation. Some of the topics that we're going to learn today is the aging of process, some of the procedures and protocols that are out there in the market that maybe you can suggest to your clients and some of the ingredients that will help prevent and repair the skin that has been already damaged. A very interesting fact is that our chest and our neck are the parts of the body that age the faster not the hands or the eyes, your neck. So I thought this was a very interesting fact. So let's see why. So here are some interesting facts of why is it aging you know, quicker than the rest of the body. One is what well, we have movement, right? Because we are constantly moving. So this can create some of those lines and creases that we see. It's very vulnerable because we have it exposed to the sun and damage. We don't apply SPF on the neck. We apply it on the face and we don't reapply. The SPF only works for two hours and then it needs to be reapplied. So this is a part that we usually neglect and is when we have most movement in our body. In addition, from an anatomy point, uh, the dermis and the epidermis is much thinner than the rest of the body, so it's more susceptible, right, to any type of damage. And it also has less sebaceous glands compared to other regions of the body, so when we have less production of oil, it can give dryness and it contributes to some of the lines and wrinkles that we have on the face. So keeping it moisturized, it's very, very important because it dries very quick. And again, I think one of the biggest factors is sun exposure, exposure and radiation, UVM, UVB rays. Um, this part of the body never protected. We apply sunscreen on our face constantly, never on the neck. That's why I've seen some people where they have beautiful skin on the face, but the neck is completely wrinkled. So I said the face doesn't match the neck. And it's because it's always neglected. Even with procedures, uh, people get their face done constantly, but never ever the neck. Very rarely I see people getting procedures for the neck. Some of the causes of nerve wrinkles can be caused by a combination of just natural aging, repetitive movements on the neck, because we're const constantly moving all the time, being on digital devices, what's called the tech neck, because we're texting all the time. Uh, it's a new thing and it's real and it's happening. So we're seeing a, a lot more aging of the neck because of it. And gravity, which plays a significant role on aging, uh, it creates laxity, saggy skin um, all over the neck and all over the body, of course. So that plays a big role. Also, of course, lifestyle factors, as we know, is a big influence on, on the aging of the skin. People that smoke, people that have a very unhealthy diet, don't take vitamins, supplements are lacking of minerals. And also genetics. Genetics always plays a big role. And um, some people are going to be more prone to having early and premature aging than others just do because of the family, you know, it runs in the family and the collagen structures will be changing earlier than usual. So that could be also a factor. So let's see some of the signs of aging. What are we looking for if you don't have them yet, but you want to see if, if you're prone or it's starting? It doesn't matter what age. We're not looking at age here because we're looking at quality of the skin. Again, all the factors that will influence the neck from um, starting to show some signs of aging. So fine lines and wrinkles, especially if you turn right to the left, you look in the mirror, you start seeing those fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, laxity, you'll see less collagen. Uh, little laxity, some people call it the turkey neck. I don't want to look like a turkey or I want to get rid of the turkey neck. I hear that very often. Neck bands, they're going to be vertical and very pronounced. And that happens also because the muscles, as we get older, get weaker. Just we have bone loss, we have muscle 
uh, weakness. We have uh, skin laxity. So all of these are signs that our neck is aging. Sun damage, of course, because we start seeing uh, spots, discoloration, skin that is uneven. It's just not looking right. And the tech neck is just, we're seeing those big lines um, that are forming that are constant, that they stay there. It has nothing to do with movement. It's just very easy to see it to the eye and very deep. And this is for lack of, you know, moisturizing, being on the computer or on your phone constantly with your head down and um, smoking and not wearing sunscreen. So here are some tips to slow down the aging process, okay? I'm gonna share with you. Basically, we're gonna do the opposite of what we just learned, right? So if we're getting sun damage, we're gonna apply sunblock. We're gonna make sure when you are driving, the neck is exposed daily. When you leave your house, spray your neck, your hands, in addition to your face before you go out, especially if you're driving and you're going to work and you have a long drive, every day you have sun exposure. So let's apply, reapply. If you are at the beach swimming, waterproof will be best lifestyle changes healthy diet i really believe that having a healthy diet and keeping your body hydrated is all you need vitamins you know if you have a lack of vitamin but really we get all of our vitamins from food there's no reason to buy green capsules when you can just eat more greens so if you're eating enough nutrients you don't need to take 500 vitamins in addition to that because we get all of our nutrients from food or supplements because this is more chemicals on the body just eat better you don't need extra vitamin c have more orange juice you know start drinking things that are going to help you start eating right no need to have 500 vitamins and a, a poor diet a regular skincare routine we all know that exfoliation is key and the proper exfoliation make sure that you're using something that's suitable for your skin if you have sensitive skin maybe an enzyme um, that granules and just continue every week keep it in your shower and when you're exfoliating your face go all the way down to the neck i keep it in my shower because this way i do both at the same time and you can do once a week, so keep it hydrated. Um, at night, when you go to bed and you apply your face cream, your face mask, lather your neck. I always said, whatever you use on your face, put double on your neck and your hands. Don't forget, we're going to talk about that. Use your retinoids uh, regularly. Uh, just keep exfoliating the skin. Also, um, exercises. There are exercises that will help to maintain the structure. Um, integrity of the neck so you can always go on YouTube and once in a while do some exercise but this is going to work with muscle right as estheticians professionals we work with skin quality not muscle so this is going to keep those muscles stronger and tighter so it works really well here is a picture of the neck aging and some of the wrinkles we're seeing from mild to severe slowly how it's changing so question take a mirror where are you at? Where do you fall? Severe, very severe, moderate, mild, where are you at? And if you're still young, if your neck looks great, then it's time to prevent because these are the stages your neck will go through to get to a very severe stage. And honestly, I don't believe in aging and not doing anything about it and just let everything get um, change the structures and wrinkle. I believe in preventative. That's number one. And two, in treating and making sure that the skin doesn't go all the way to severe. We can maintain a beautiful skin, beautiful neck, hands, face, if we are diligent and we have consistency with our routines. So we have two types of lines on the neck. We're going to have vertical and horizontal. Vertical are the very deep and this, you know, takes some time to get and it's due to possibly the way that we sleep the way that we move the you know the turkey neck that we talk about um so these are going to be flaccid under the chin and some have very prominent vertical brands and it's known also as the pl platysma band so these are often generic then we have the horizontal wrinkles and these are skin that it's very uh thin lack of collagen and you have that little uh creepy skin it's not firm, it's not smooth, it's not plumped, and it's very dry. So these are the two types of wrinkles that you're going to find on the neck, and we're going to see how to treat both of them. Here I want to share a picture of the vertical bands, and here it's, we can see them, is the, the platysma, basically your muscles, and they pull apart, 
and as we can see it creates these rolls right around the neck. So here are some ways to improve the appearance of these horizontal and vertical bands. So one, as we talk about, keep your, your muscles toned. Exercising is very important because it increases oxygenation, blood flow, uh, retinol creams, vitamin C creams, um, lifting creams, growth factors are great. Exfoliate at least once a week. Uh, U therapy, if you have heard about this or ultrasound skin therapy, it's great because that helps also with muscle tightening and reduces the wrinkles of the neck. So some of the um, procedures that are less invasive are the following. Botox, it can be injected right into the platysma muscles to reduce and relax the neck. Just like the eye area, we can do the same thing with the neck so there is less movement and less wrinkle formation. The fillers, which I love, 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 um, there is a filler called Perfilio that I use and um, I have it done in my neck. I also love Sculptra. There is just so many of them out there and I try to do it at least once to twice a year depending on the filler that it's being used. Some last one year to two years but constantly, constantly um, working on the neck. So I don't spend time just on my face. I spend the same amount of time and money on my neck. I'm actually giving now, I'm 51 years old, uh, more attention to the neck because I see how, you know, slowly it's changing and it's aging. Chemical pills are wonderful. It's a control exfoliation. It's going to improve the skin regrowth, correct? because now we have uh, collagen synthesis is going to help with the fine lines with the wrinkles, especially discoloration. And people that have sun exposure will start having, just like on the face, um, some hyperpigmentation on the neck. Thread lift, love it as well. They have thin, they have thick, so thread lifting. It's, um, they have uh, very strong ones which are barbed and what they do is they hold everything in place and then they have very thin, which are your smooth threads and I love those because those are collagen production they're um, injected into the neck very superficial you can do 50 little pieces of thread all over the neck stays there it dissolves and it helps to produce collagen and I have done it great for those lines as well it can be injected right in the lines uh, PRP again blood um, I'm sorry plasma blood processing that is going to help to accelerate everything on the skin remember growth factors put everything on steroids so we're going to have more collagen more regrowth everything that happens on the skin goes much much faster so prp injections are great uh, misotherapy which i like getting done as well it's it's great vitamins amino acids so injecting your neck and keeping it hydrating it's great you can do this once a month you know it's all for ability but if you can four to six weeks um, do some mesotherapy, do some PRP, do some injections. This is very, very helpful. Fractional laser resurfacing, which also works fantastic. Uh, Radio frequency microneedling works very, very well. Um, that is something that I try to do also as often as possible because it uh, works with collagen production. Uh, it helps some of delivery of the products and it helps with skin, skin tightening. So this is all maintenance and consistency. This is not something that you do one time and that's it. It's something you have to continuously do. The neck really is a job and it becomes a job as you become older because it constantly requires maintenance. It constantly requires attention protection in order to stay young looking. I found this to be very interesting. It was a report that was released for the, from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. This was just uh, on 2020. So the statistics have changed, but over 160,000 people managed to have a neck lift now. So we're seeing this growing after COVID even more and it's a very popular procedure right now. Everybody is more concerned about the neck and we see this rising in the industry. Now we have some of the more invasive procedures like the neck lift, and this will be a surgical procedure where the muscles uh, will be tightened and it's gonna give you a better 
appearance. Then we have a platysmaplasty, which focus in the tiny of the platysma only, the neck. And it can create those vertical bands to be better. And it also require, it requires incisions on the chin and behind the ears. We also have cervical plastic, which involves the removal of the skin, just to remove some of the extra skin. Again, muscle, bone, skin, they're all different. And liposuction, which can be used also to contour the appearance of the double chin, uh, which you know also makes um, um, some people to have some lines and appearance of aging. I want to share some pictures here. This is my daughter, Sophia. Some of you know her. Um, she had a little double chin, less contour. This was not aging, but she's young. But already see on the left hand side that she needed some contouring of the neck. I want to show you on the right side. Beautiful job um, we did with Dr. Westin, which is fantastic work on her neck. And we've seen here contouring of her neck liposuction looks very 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 nice and she loves it it's been two years post procedure and it looks amazing here is a picture of me i want to share with you guys and i'll tell you why i'm sharing this picture right this is i was younger i was in my 30s getting prp and as you can see i'm doing all over the face but look at the neck I see one line right here on the neck and I only focus on the face. So this is what people do that we should not do. Just focus on the face and neglect the neck. And at this point, I should have been doing the neck along with the face. So this is PRP and it's one of the procedures that I have done. We're going to move now into aging of the hands and I will give you some more procedures at the end of the presentation, but I gave you a good amount of procedures and we'll talk about some products. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about the hands and the aging process. Okay, so why do the hands age so quickly? Thin skin number one, just like the neck. Sun exposure, same thing, photo aging. Lack of sebaceous glands, just like the neck and frequent use. We are using our hands constantly. They are in motion, we're cleaning our house, we're using chemicals. So this constant moving of motion is what um, also uh, contributes to the aging of the hands. Our environmental exposure, loss of fat. This is a big one, guys. I noticed this on my hands, loss of fat. It's number one. So you start seeing more veins and tendons is very, very um, obvious to the eye less collagen production and genetics just like this here is a graphic from 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 we can see the collagen fibers very very low as we age and how it affects the um, integrity of the skin is start, we start seeing here how the lines you know the, um, the skin starts sinking because we don't have those collagen fibers strong right underneath the skin so here we're going from 30 to 60 and time goes by really quick. So some other signs will be skin atrophy, which is the um, skin loss of collagen uh, decreasing and uh, rites, which is a medical term for wrinkles on the hands, liver spots, pigmentation. All of these are signs of aging. The, the spots come very quick. And all I can tell you is as soon as you see one, two three start treating them don't wait that's what i do as soon as i see them i immediately treat them you can do laser you can do cryotherapy they will come off really quick and uh, thank god you know again i'm 51 and i don't have any but every time i see one i immediately take action dyschromia which is discoloration pick this pig, you know we're having pigmentation light spots really hyperpigmentation hyperpigmentation and different shades um, loss of fat, which I told you about, and I'll show you some pictures, thinning of the epidermis as well. The skin gets very thin. More signs, uh, loss of elasticity, we can see it, right, you know, when you look at your hands. Uh, Telanglistasia, small blood vessels, dryness, number one, as we age, we get dryness, so it becomes more dry than the rest of the body. And joint chains, joint, because we're having long boss, arthritis, inflammation, so many factors with, with aging that we start seeing also changing in the joint and the, the shape. 
Can you tell the age by the appearance of the hands? Absolutely. And I remember a story, never forget. I was on my 20s, late 20s. And I went out, met a gentleman who asked my age. And I said, guess. And he looked at my hands. He grabbed my hands and he started looking at him to see my age. That to me was a game changer. So surprisingly, you can start seeing wrinkles as early as 20. Sun is the number one when you're driving. Again, we use our hands for everything. So number one factor is sun that we will start aging. It doesn't matter, you know, how old we are, the hands. You can be 30 years old and have hands that look like you're 60 and you can be 60 and have hands of someone who's 20 or 30. It all depends on the care, the life that you've lived and the sun protection. So we're going to talk about hand, reju hand rejuvenation and how we can change the quality of the skin to make it more youthful. My two go is fillers injections, a must for volume. You can't replace the volume with any other treatment with pills, radio frequency, uh, micro channeling. None of that is going to help. The loss of volume will absolutely change with a filler and it also stimulates collagen. And again, I'm going to share a picture of me with you guys in a minute. Right here, you can see on the left, it's right after, I mean, immediately, two minutes after sculpture that I had done. See my hand on my right, you can see all the veins, very thin. On the other side, hand is completely rejuvenated right after one treatment. In addition to that, um, I do the peels. I make sure I remove any of the age pots, keep it super hydrated. Uh, protected and those are just some of the things that I do to keep my hands looking younger. So another more invasive procedure is sclerotherapy. This is going to reduce any veins on the hands, any capillary spider veins. Uh, laser resurfacing, this is going to help remove damaged skin, collagen production, and then we have something called hand vein ligation. In these cases is when people, the veins don't respond well to sclerotherapy, they will do a procedure that will help to remove the affected vein that's improving the hand's appearance. Another surgical procedure will be fat transfer where they remove and harvest fat from the abdomen or the tights and they will inject it into the hand. It works really uh, similar like sculpture, right? Restoring the volume, derma hand lift also improves the tightening of the skin, small incision to remove the excess of skin, and subcision, which is a technique that's used um, to remove fibers underneath the skin and help smooth the appearance of wrinkles and the hands. Uh, it's also just one more technique that's used a little more invasive. Some of the non-invasive, I'm recommending chemical peels. Love, 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 because it rejuvenates my hands immediately. If you're having some pigmentation, you can use a white up peel or just anti-aging overall skin complexion and texture the um, Ageless Plus, which is great to promote uh, collagen production and also to remove any pigmentation of the hands. Um, skin tightening techniques by using radio frequency and ultrasound, it works great also for collagen production. I want to share with you this video. This is me doing my hands. I was doing a peel on my hands. So let me share this. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. So that was getting a hand peel. Just wanted to share that with you guys. That was the ageless or the white up. So you can always email us for the protocol. Um, here we have a picture of transfer uh, of fat or filler. Actually, it's a filler and fat transfer. So you can see here on the right hand side, looks like it was a combination. Hand looks completely different and I share my pictures also as well. Makes a big difference and if you maintain, don't just do it and wait 
until it wears off. If your fillers, your treatments are due in six months or one year, do it two months earlier and continue to do it constantly. It's going to save you more money than if you wait until it completely wears off. Here we have a before and after with sclerotherapy. We can see the veins. This is for the veins that also look, the hands look older. Look at the beautiful hand on the right. We're not seeing all those pronounced veins. Uh, you gotta just find a good practitioner that'll be able to do this for you. And again, if you're a practitioner, you can recommend your client. You can do, if you're an esthetician, you can do peels, you can do microneedling, you can do uh, PRP, and also in combination with a good doctor that you can refer out that can do all these things that are more invasive. It's a great combination because once they do this, they also need maintenance. So they want to maintain their hands beautiful. And this is estheticians where we come in to offer procedures that they can do consistently and maintain their results. Tips to slow down the aging. So we have sun protection. We talked about these 30 SPF and higher every two hours. Protective gloves to minimize irritation if you're cleaning your house and also for driving. There are gloves that protect against the um, UV and UVB light. You can see them probably on Amazon you can find and their skin color and you put them on while you're driving. So this is going to help. Moisturizing morning, night, if you're in an office, right on your desk, keep a moisturizer. There is not such a thing as an overdose in moisturizer. Completely apply over and over to keep your hands very um, hydrated. Glycerin is good because it holds moist also as well as ceramides. Avoid any harsh soaps, gentle, anything that's gentle on the hands, and even in your kitchen, keep your hands soap so you can wash your hands after you do the dishes. And hygiene, keeping it clean, prevent from spreading germs and infection. This is also great to practice every day to keep our hands beautiful. Diet helps with overall, all your skin. The skin is the largest organ of the body, will be great for overall hands, neck, face, Hydration, drink a lot of water. Remember, water is hydration, maintains elasticity of the skin. Drink as much water as you can every day. I have a hard time drinking water, so I buy these little flavor drops and I put it in my water. I have all flavors. I have like 10 in my kitchen, and it depends what I'm in the mood. Pineapple, peach, grapes, uh, it's a good, put a couple of drops, it's a good way to get you up to drink water. Hand exercises you can do at night, improve circulation, flexibility for your joints, you can do every night. Yes, or if you go to the gym, take five minutes before and do some hands, neck, exercise, face. Uh, no smoking, again, we all know smoking, it's harmful and not good for the skin or the body. And treatment and procedures, create a regimen and be consistent. The key of anything we do is consistency. Go do it every month, have a regimen. I have on my calendar every quarter, every month, whatever I need to do to be consistent, whether it's laser or e-matrix or injections, be consistent. I ask my practitioner, okay, when do I do this again? Or you do it in one year, I book it two months early. So, and always, you know, look as everybody's different and depending on lifestyle, things change. And on your maintenance, your products, you know, offer your clients a set of products they can use for the neck and the hands every night, every day, and book an appointment when you do the face. Encourage to do the, the neck, and you can always do the, the hands free. It's a nice little treat. It doesn't cost you a lot of money. People love it. Takes you two minutes, just a little extra product, extra love and care, and your clients will be extremely happy. These are some of my recommendations that I have personally used and have worked. It's use moisturizer, neck and hands every night and every morning. That's key. Uh, SPF, of course, and reapply. I have two SPF, one on my makeup bag that I take everywhere and I have one in my home. So make sure that you always have it handy. Regular peels on my hands anytime you know that I need it once a month. I try to be consistent. Sculptra. Uh, it's great because it restores the volume and uh, microneedling I do from time to time. Uh, but basically, this is what I do on a regular basis to maintain my hands um, hydrated and looking good. For the neck, if you're not ready for surgery, Thread Lift is great. I did for eight years. Um, again, it looks fantastic. It increases collagen. Find a practitioner that's well trained on these. Uh, E-Matrix every quarter. 
you can do. Um, it works very good on the texture and restoring the skin. Great for rosaceas. You guys know I struggle with rosacea. Completely gone. It helps a lot. And of course, I do all the right things, not drinking and um, just keeping a healthy diet and no spices. Moisturizer. I like um, anything that has lifting and hydration. I like to use exfoliate. I will use the enzyme powder. Keep it in your shower once a week. Exfoliate all the way from the forehead down to your chest and do it weekly and apply your, your cream. Regular peels also uh, use the triple acid mask every three weeks, I would say. And it also helps with pigmentation, which is great. It works well. And um, if you use our line, the sleeping mask is great. I put it over my face and neck in the morning. And I work sometimes from home and I keep it on all day until night. So if you don't want to use it at night, you can use it during the day. So these are just some of the tips that you can give your customers. Um, one more thing I use is the FHA, which I, I think we have some of those products. It's amazing because it plumps automatically. So you can put that weight and then add your miso lift. It works really well. On the fusion, some of the vials that I recommend will be your Lift Plus Face. This is what we call PRP in a bottle, loaded with growth factors. You can use this. Uh, it's a whole package. It does everything for you. And you can use this with microneedling, Tixol, um, post-procedure. It's, it's great. It works fantastic. And you can add to this for the retail. I like the ice cream lift, the miso lift. Those are great moisturizers. And I like the FHA deep filler. That is the serum from, from uh, Fusion that plumps the skin right away. So that's the FHA filler. You can take a picture here. You can write it if you want. And again, you can always call us. Miso Matrix is a formula that helps repair the skin too. Rapid fibroblast activation is good for scars, stretch marks, damaged skin. Um, again, it's an, a vial that you can use combined with the same retail products that we talk about and definitely sun protection always. We have Miso Shield and All Day Shield. And for the ones that are not familiar with the difference on Fusion, uh, Miso Shield, it's great uh, for Post procedure, it works fantastic. It's a SPF, but we also have the miso shield that has ferulic acid and is going to inhibit melanin production. So they're both great products. Uh, it should be used always after procedures and daily. Pigmentation, neck and hands, radiance by far, hands down, great product. Um, it works really, really well, reduce dark spots. Um, also, if you have the big spots that are deeper and you can combine these and you can use some laser, you can remove them with some cryotherapy. It, it comes off in two weeks, they will come off. And some of the products that you can use at home if there's pigmentation is the Radiance Cream. The White Absorbe also works great. Uh, the SPF that we talked about, and I think those are my two go, and the exfoliation enzyme. The enzyme powder to exfoliate neck and face once a week in the shower works wonders. On the peeling side, white up, very good for pigmentation, uh, very low irritation. It's going to brighten the hands and the neck. This is most targeted for sun damage and hyperpigmentation. Ageless Plus Peptide Peel, it's great. It helps with collagen synthesis. It's not irritating. Uh, it gives you a nice, beautiful, youthful skin. The skin is firm, uh, anti-wrinkles, so you can use for hands and neck. And if you have a lot of pigmentation, again, the white up, it works fantastic. It looks amazing. So this is one of the peels that I'm recommended that will definitely make a difference on hands and neck. Now, the PHA Hyaluronic Serum, it's very good because this is going to help to exfoliate. Uh, it has polyhydroxy acids, uh, so there's no burning or discomfort. It's gentle. You can add to the mask if you're working in the treatment room. You can create a serum or you can use it on its own. So it's very good to maintain that hydration and exfoliation at the same time. Thank you for joining in today. What I'd like to do for you as a thank you, because I appreciate each one of you that joined today, is we're going to give you a 20% discount your first order today. If you're your order, even if you're a current client, you can use the code webinar, all uppercase 20. 
it'll be good until midnight your minimum requirement is 150 if you are new with us and you want to try some of these new products please this is the time get some of the hand and neck products if you need more recommendations email us or call our office we'll be happy to answer for you and help you with your order it's a big, good way to try it and if you already have an account with us it's time to encourage our customers to retail and buy some products to take home to have a protocol to have a regimen because you can do a million treatments if they don't use the right products at home and they don't continue the maintenance it's not going to work it's teamwork we need both i tell people don't waste your money don't waste my time unless you have wonderful products on the daily basis your skin is not going to improve and you change your lifestyle so it's all a combination thank you again for joining in and if you have questions at least it's on the chat right now and we'll be able to contact you as well via email I hope you enjoyed this PowerPoint presentation today, this webinar. Uh, any suggestions, please feel free to let us know. Any topics, anything you want to discuss, we'll be happy to create some webinars around there. Next month, we're gonna be talking about body lifting and some of the effects of summer on the skin and the body. This is also part of aging. So you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Every month we're having different webinars. We're connecting with you, we're posting information protocols always bringing you something new and exciting i look forward to connecting with you again next month and i hope you have a wonderful day and thank you again for your time and trusting me with your education have a great day